good day everyone today i have a diy thrift or facebook marketplace find and it is a makeover let's get right into the video as you can see here it is a faux leather trunk it is excellent for storage i just thought it would make a very good piece to have in my place to use for not only the pretty but also it is functional because of course it is a trunk and as you can see it has optimal storage inside and the picture of course just doesn't depict the actual size of the trunk but it is a very substantial size and again as you can see it's faux leather it has a lot of dents and dings on it but i'm not too worried about that i like it it's a little character for the piece i'm not worried at all about the top of it as well because it has a lot of scratches and a little bit of a peel up but it's not peeling up enough to make you want to pull it all off of the entire trunk so i'm going to give it a couple of coats which is two coats of some chalk paint right in with a roller and a brush as you can see here you can see that i took off the hardware because i'm going to keep the hardware as well for the piece you can see how it has the little raised portions not concerned at all again about that either because again i'm going to place the hardware right back on the piece see i'm using a roller i really like using a roller when i am doing chalk paint as well because it does get a very smooth finish even when you use a brush it does give a smooth finish but again a foam roller does an excellent job and again it, it takes less time as well when you are using a foam roller or a roller of any sort i don't want any texture added texture to it and that is another reason why i'm using a foam roller because it does again give a smoother appearance As you can see here, after the two coats of the chalk paint, and I am pointing out where the hardware goes after I did remove it. Now, always remember when you are removing your hardware to use a bag, a bowl of some sort, and place it all inside. What I was showing you there was the clear coat that I'm going to place over the top of it, which was, again, as I always use, a polyacrylic right over the top of it, and I did two coats of that and it is clear here is some fabric that I had because I didn't want the top completely exposed because again I like function but you know I like the pretty factor so in case if I want to just sit down on top of the trunk or someone else who may be in the room with me wants to sit on top of it it can do that because again it's a very strong and sturdy piece and on the bench it had a scallop edging along the bottom of it but I, I didn't want to change out the scallop edging i could have easily cut it away and removed it but again it's a great piece as it is and a lot of times i like to show you how if you were doing some of these diys on your own in your own home you can do these projects without having to alter the piece altogether. Then I went in with a bucket, well, <laughs> a bowl of water with vinegar, some Dawn dish soap, and some baking soda, and I just cleaned up the hardware. Again, I could have went in here and painted up the hardware. I didn't want to do that. I like the tarnish look, the patina that it has on it with the dark and light spots of the gold. Again, it just added some extra character. I didn't want it to look like it was a new pristine piece at all. I wanted it to have that well-used look to it. Again, this was a Facebook Marketplace find, and I did purchase a quick makeover with chalk paint that I had on hand already at home. all the painting is done and adding the clear coat we will go back in add all of the hardware as you will see me doing in the video remembering to place all of your hardware again in a bucket or a bowl or a ziploc bag of some sort some kind of a baggie so that you have all of it to complete your project without having to go out and repurchase 
little bitty screws such as this because the screws in this project were very very small as you can see in the video or not see. we're done with all that I will complete it with the styling in the space and as always stay inspired motivated and moving creating something beautiful from the inside out if not for yourself then for someone else this has been Chanel don't forget to like comment share and definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all for the next one or rather in the comment section bye for now